what a thrilling match it was between Aston Villa and Bournemouth. Ollie Watkins proved once again that he has that special ability to make a crucial contribution when it matters most. With just seconds left on the clock, Watkins made a perfectly timed run and headed in Musa Diaby's cross, securing a late equalizer for Villa. Although Watkins had struggled to make an impact throughout the game, his goal showcased his determination and skill. It was a vital goal that salvaged a point for Villa, who had been outplayed by Bournemouth for most of the match. Speaking of Bournemouth, they have been on a remarkable run under their manager, Benai Emery. They have won three and drawn one of their last five Premier League games, putting them in a comfortable position in the league table. Villa, on the other hand, has been enjoying a fantastic season under Emery's guidance. They have won an impressive 22 Premier League games, second only to Manchester City, in 2023. Their performance has even sparked discussions about a possible Champions League qualification. In the previous meetings between Emery's Villarreal and Andoni Iraela's Vallecano, Villarreal came out on top. But this time, Bournemouth put on a tactically astute display that could have earned them all three points. The game started with an early lead for Bournemouth, thanks to a mistake from Villa's Diego Carlos. Ryan Christie took advantage of the error and set up Antoine Semenyo for a well-taken goal. Bournemouth almost doubled their lead shortly after, but Villa's goalkeeper, Emiliano Martinez, made a fantastic save to deny Semenyo. Emery was visibly animated on the sidelines, urging his players to give their all. And they did just that when Leon Bailey scored a sensational goal, beating the Bournemouth defense with a powerful shot. However, their celebrations were short-lived as VAR ruled out a goal from Diego Carlos due to an offside in the build-up. The decision was met with jeers from both sets of supporters. The first half continued to be action-packed, with Martinez making another outstanding save to deny Dominic Solank. And just before the break, Esri Kansa made a crucial tackle to stop Justin Kluivert, while Neto saved a shot from Douglas Luiz at the other end. The second half started with Bournemouth retaking the lead. Solank showed his clinical finishing skills, scoring his seventh goal of the season after a brilliant run from left-back Milos Kirkes. Bournemouth then focused on containing Villa, narrowing the pitch and limiting the impact of Villa's wide attackers. They had several opportunities to extend their lead but were unlucky when Jan Durand's shot deflected off Marco Senesi and hit the post. But in the dying moments of the game, Diaby spotted Watkins' movement and delivered a perfect cross, allowing Watkins to score his ninth goal of the season and rescue a point for Villa. What a thrilling match it was, full of drama and excitement. Both teams showed their fighting spirit and determination. Villa's late equalizer keeps them in the race for Champions League qualification, while Bournemouth's impressive form continues under the guidance of Unai Emery. Who knows what the future holds for these two exciting teams?